Hey guys, back out in the shop today. Um, today we're out here working on the Buster. We actually were started on the doors, but a um, little bit of disappointment when I started stripping them, and they're a lot worse than what I thought, as always. So um, we're waiting on some patch panels for those. So we'll probably end up going ahead and moving on to the fenders today um, till we get those patch panels but till then let's go check out these doors real quick and then we'll go grab the fenders all right here's our doors um, you can see they're pretty rough somebody had like a mountain of bondo i've done cleaned up most of it but this was completely built up here with bondo there's no lip the whole bottom lip here is completely gone so everything looks good from about uh, I don't know here up or so so they actually make a PAX panel for this so um, we're just gonna go that route anyway yeah you can kind of see here a bunch more Bondo they just piled it in here but um, that's for the back side of the doors but I'll have to make a few other little patches that the patch panel for the outside doesn't cover, like in here. I'll have to make that all by hand and weld it in, but no big deal. Um, over here on this one, you can really see, I pulled the uh, molding off here from the middle of the door, and voila, disappointment. Yeah, so... The new patch panel, I believe, comes up to like right in here or so. So hopefully we're good. If not, I'll have to cut that out because these doors are hard to come by um, around here. These are manual lock, manual window doors, so good doors to have. Um, but yeah, check out the amount of Bondo somebody put in here. Check this out. That's a mountain. It was plumb leveled up to the bottom of the molding it's just crazy tons of it but anyway that's not right so we're just going to go ahead and uh, cut these out throw patch panels in and uh, do them the right way I guess save these doors these doors do match the VIN numbers do match the VIN number on the car so that's a plus but uh, yeah let's set this thing back up on the tripod and um, I'll swap out these doors with these fenders and we'll get started on those all right guys the fenders here they are um, yeah this fender here, the VIN matches the car. The other one, however, has been changed. You can see it's in a little bit better shape, but it's an aftermarket fender. That's all right, though. It fit good. It had good gaps, so... This one here is a little bit beat up, so we've got a little bit of work to do on it, but I think this one's pretty much saveable. Maybe put a new piece up in here. Clean this up a little bit. It's not all the way through, so that's good. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be working on today, guys. Well, let's set this tripod back up and we'll start sanding. Alright guys, we're back. We've got these fenders ground up pretty good. Um, the, they're actually not as bad as I thought. Um, everything's still good and solid. Um, I'm just going to grind, finish grinding them a little bit. Sand the whole back of both of them. Um, and then 
sand them real good so they'll stick, so the stuff will stick. But then I'll pour 15 the back of them with that flat black pour 15 so it'll match the inside of our wheel wells and everything else that we already did. Um, and there's no need in painting them and it just gives a little, uh, little extra protection. But um, yeah, so right here I have, I don't know if you can see it, Let's see if I can focus it in there. I actually have to make a little patch on this one, but uh, it's clean through. You see that's all good metal below it. Then you get right there and it's bad. So I'm just gonna cut that out, make a nice little patch here and uh, weld it in. And then this flange, this mount flange is gone. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip that out and weld a new flange in there and then prep these and pour 15 them. And uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, I um, cut out this first patch and I made the new one. Just I just cut a piece of flat stock out here and I've got it. Um, it's kind of a weird shaped piece you can see there. But uh, I cut the exact piece, the, ex the new piece, exactly the same. And now I'm going to just uh, clamp it together here and try to use my hammer and, you know, my hands and then... Uh, the uh, dolly there and form it to be exactly the same and then we will um, weld, weld it all up and proceed on let's set this tripod back up all right guys the uh, camera died while I was doing the uh, patch a little bit ago so um, I let it charge and then now we're back. I went ahead and finished it while the phone, while it was, uh, charging, but I didn't really grind a whole lot on the back side cause nobody's going to see it, but I welded these patches front and back. I always do just to make sure they're good and solid. Um, for the most part, it turned out pretty good. Very little filler work needed that's what we like um this side here this flange i don't remember if you can tell what that was like but it was gone i welded a new one on there it turned out pretty good i'd say i'm not gonna mess with that weld cleaning it up too much i want to make sure it's pretty good and stout so um anyway that's that this one didn't need any patches um it all turned up pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and finish sanding these a little bit and uh, wipe them down with some wax and grease remover and make sure there's nothing on them. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and slap a coat of pour 15 on them and we'll be back and show you that. All right, we're back. Um, pour 15 is on. Um, I put it on pretty thick. We're just kind of going to leave it on there, uh, just like that. I will, um, you know, let it dry up real good and then just flip it over and go right on with what we were doing. Um, for the most part, this is dry. But you can kind of see it leaked through a little bit. But that's all right. All this stuff will sand off. Um, we'll sand all that off. There's just a little bit of body work to do here. And for the most part, these things will be ready for primer. So that's what we're going to work on next is um, painting these fenders. So let's get at it. All right, we're back. Um, fenders are all sanded. Um, we just used 80 grit on everything, blocked them all out. And it's got a skim coat of filler. There was a tiny little spot here. It was just a very, very low, very little low. Um, for the most part, 
that was it on that fender another couple little spots right here but um, I sanded them already that one's new not sanded that's why it looks different this one here is where I did my patchwork and you can see I just put a little skim coat on it you can still see my metal a little bit here and there but that's all right it's nice and smooth and should block out perfectly um, yeah so now we'll uh, block the rest of this out and uh, be ready for primer so let's get at it all right guys uh, fenders are body worked and ready for primer we got them hung up taped up and primer is over in the shaker right now and we get to try out our fancy new uh, fan we put in a new exhaust fan over the last few days so uh, we can eliminate this dust we're gonna put another one in eventually but for right now we get to try this one out today so uh, let's set this tripod up and um, we will get to spraying. All right, we're back. Everything is primed. It's nice and uh, tacky, so I went ahead and dusted on a guide coat. I just use black spray paint. I just keep a cheap can laying around for just this. Um, next time you guys see them, we will probably sand all this out and hopefully have them ready for paint. So we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. The fenders were completely sanded. Uh, we blocked them all out. We burnt through quite a bit of places, no big deal. Um, we're going to, um, they're nice and straight though. Yeah, but we're gonna go ahead and grab um, some wax and grease remover and we're gonna give them a good thorough wipe down and then we will shoot it with our um, sealer select seal and then uh, I don't know about 30 minutes or so after you spray this on you can go right into paint uh, we'll just slightly scotch bright it and tack it again after that and uh, just start spraying on our collar so um, let's set the tripod up and we'll start cleaning this up All right, guys, um, got the sealer out of the shaker. We're pouring it out here. We got, um, we're going for four to one on this. So you can see here, I found uh, four to one and I ran it up to the two with my sealer. Uh, we're just gonna put the um, activator in now and we'll run it up to the next two. You can see it ain't, I'm not mixing up much of this stuff. Um, it doesn't take much, it goes a long way. Yeah, but uh, we'll get this put in our gun and set this back up on the tripod and start spraying. All right, guys. Uh, just sprayed the first or the sealer on it. Um, just did a nice light coat over everything. Made sure I covered everywhere. I burned through real good. Um, just we 
gonna let this dry up real nice and uh, then we'll go back over it with the scotch Bright and a tack cloth and uh, then we'll be ready for paint let's get back at it all right guys fenders are completely tacked down and wiped off after the sealer and now we're gonna mix up some uh, base coat now this base coat is uh, two to one and every, usually everything says it right on the can um, so we'll find our two to one I ran it up to the six to the paint and uh, I'll run this on up to the six there to match it all right we'll give that a good stir it's a beautiful color And we'll set this back up and start spraying. All right, guys, we're back brief briefly after um, coat one. We had a couple of uh, little spots that I just wasn't happy with um, before I went on to coat two. So, um, one of them was right here and uh, not sure what happened it just um, it had a little bit of a raised spot there so I went ahead and um, wet sanded it out with uh, 600 wet sand and uh, I waited till the base coat was completely dry and then um, I don't know it don't it don't take long maybe 30 minutes or so 40 minutes and then uh, once that's dry then you can feather this stuff out and I'll just I'll sand this a little bit more and feather it out and then I'll spot that in and then I'll show you guys what that looks like but not only on this fender did we have something but um, this fender here we had just a tiny little spot it's probably gonna be hard to pick up on this camera but all right there and uh, it all sanded out real nice, but uh, it just uh, take a little dusting over it and then we'll proceed on with coat two. And this, this right here keeps from having any flaws, any, any little raised um, spots in your clear coat. This eliminates that. You don't want any of that. So um, very important step here. All right, guys, we got the uh, gun and everything ready to spray here. And uh, I just want to show you guys how easy this is. This is some pretty good paint. Um, it, don't, um, it don't lift up a lot like some of your others do, but um, I'll just show you guys. I spray really, really light and dry. just a couple times really really light there's really no paint there's if you look there's no shine to it at all when that comes out of there it's 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 basically drying on contact and I'll just do that a few times until we fill in that spot and then um, once it's you know matches the rest of the fender then we'll proceed on with uh, our second coat on the rest of the fender All right, guys, here we are back. Um, I did this just for another second or two, blew another coat on over this little spot. Um, it probably needs one more little go at it, but you can see it um, cl clearly it's about gone. I don't know, you can see it's a little light right there, but we will um, go ahead and hit it again real light these other little dry spots that I sanded um, and then on that fender and then we'll proceed on with the rest of the coats thanks for watching
All right, guys, all of our base is on. Um, they're nice and smooth. There's no more hiccups. There's no raised spots or rough spots. I've already um, went over them with a tack cloth. So they are ready to spray. And that's what we're going to do next. So let's go over here and mix up some clear coat. All right, guys. Um, on this here, we're going to use some Euro Pro um, Clear. This is probably, oh, this is some cheaper stuff. This is my own personal project, so I tend to use stuff that... Uh, the paint store might recommend or say, hey, we've had good reviews about this, so I'll try it on my own stuff before I actually use it on anybody else's. But <laughs> So I've used this stuff a few times. I've had good results, but uh, it mixes up at 2 to 1. That's not normal. Most most of your clears like this will do be 4 to 1, but uh, this is higher solids. It lays out really nice, so um, yeah. Clear coat up to the, I think we're going to need um, probably to the six at least. Found our two to one and run it on up to the six. There it is. Now we'll grab our reducer. And throw it in the gun. Don't forget your filter. All right, let's go set this up on the tripod and we'll start. All right, coat one of the clear is on. It's looking slick. I usually put the first coat on a little bit um, drier than the rest. That usually seems to do the trick for me. The next coat I'll lay on just a little bit thicker and um, get rid of all the orange peel and make sure it lays out like a mirror. I, I usually never do that on the first coat because I always seem to get runs. But put this first coat on real good and dry and then the neck come in next one pretty hot and it usually looks beautiful. So we'll be back in a few minutes and um, we'll throw the second and the third coat on and we'll see the finished product. All right, we're back. Fenders are painted three full coats of clear on them. They're still wet too. I just shut the exhaust fans off uh, to clear out the room. This stuff still needs to level out a little bit, but um, yeah, turned out slick. Three coats, we'll buff them out. We wet sand and buff everything, but um, these things turned out pretty nice. The back side, you can see my old repair here. Not bad. That's how you save these fenders. Saved myself probably 200 bucks. I lost, uh, you know, two days worth of time and a little bit of sheet metal um, and some paint, and we have two brand new fenders. If you guys learned anything, 
If you like what you're watching, make sure you give us a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, that's all we got for the uh, Fox Body Fenders. Make sure you um, hit that subscribe button, like I said before, and follow along. Next video, we hopefully should have the skins here to do the doors. We can get the doors all welded up and uh, get them sprayed. Then we'll have a complete car, guys. I'm excited. Thanks for watching, guys.